Hello guys, Belle here, gonna talk to you guys about uh, some UI improvements that are happening in 7.2. I wanted to make sure that I pulled them into like a nice little package so that you guys could visually check it out before the patch so that you can see what is coming. So let's talk about some of your general user interface changes that are going to be happening uh, with the launch of 7.2. One thing that's kind of cool is on PVE servers, uh, players of the opposite faction will now actually have an orange name. Uh, instead of the, you know, the regular color or red even, um, it'll just have the orange name, which is pretty nice. When I first saw it, I was like, wow, is this player legendary? Because that's what it reminded me of. But yes, that is the reason, uh, if you're on a PvP server, that you will see that player, uh, the opposite faction, having orange names. Now, two of the, my most favorite additions here... Um, are going to be the world quests. So on the world quest map, when you have an emissary selected, it's going to have a very bold kind of yellow gold ring to let you know everything on that map that's for that emissary. Now it kind of glows now with like a shadow, but it's really pronounced uh, as you guys can see. So you can easily swap your different emissaries to see what you're looking at on that map for that specific faction, which does make it a lot easier. The second one uh, that's my absolute favorite is going to be the in-game calendar. Now, as you guys see with this previous one, um, you have the beginning of the event, and then you have the end of the event on separate blocks. And then you had like a random graphic above on the top to kind of let you know that that event was still ongoing. Now, as you see, when you hover over the event, it'll tell you ongoing and that event that's ongoing, which is really nice. Some of us have the top graphic kind of uh, memorized where I know the Dark Moon Fair, you know, little top border. Now that just kind of takes it away and you get to actually see as it's ongoing in game. Definitely a really nice um Definitely really nice to be able to have that. And there will be no graphic uh, attached to those little events. So it makes it a little bit easier so you can actually see what's going on um, in your calendar. Now, a third one that's just for your general is if you don't have currency to purchase something um, at a vendor, the currency itself is actually grayed out, which is really nice. Uh, nothing says, hi, you're broke, like the vendor letting you know that it uh, you don't have the currency because it's grayed out. So definitely something cool there that I thought was really nice for a quality of life improvement that was definitely needed in game. My, I'm going to say all these are my favorite features because I'm pretty happy about this. For your equipment manager, you can have, you know, we've already played around with sets. Most of you probably have several sets. I know that I have several sets. If you're a person who multi-specs on your your tune, you can now attach a set to your specialization. So as you see here, when you swap specs, it'll automatically swap to that equipment that you have set to that speciali specialization. So you basically just create your new set, hit the little gear icon, put it to the specialization that you want. No more having to swap your set. Let's say if you're going from heels to maybe tanking, it'll automatically swap out your equipment when you change it over, which to me was really awesome. Another one uh, is going to be the Blood of Sargeras vendor that's in Dalaran. Uh, she actually, you can buy multiple amounts by shift clicking, thank goodness, because the clicking to buy just the one is just really frustrating. So I'm glad that they finally implemented that. I see why they didn't at first, because I think if you don't want to overspend your Blood of Sargeras, because it can be kind of scary, but we're adults. Trust us, we can do it. Um, also, to prevent accidental clicking of the resurrection option to decline, right? How many of us, raise your hand, raise, raise, raise your hand, if you were given a resurrection and you accidentally hit the decline on accident, uh, you know, just out of a quick reflex. There now is gonna be a brief countdown um, before so that you can actually see that um, it's going to be, you know, that the decline is on there. So it won't actually let you click out of it uh, for, whatever, however long the brief countdown is, which is pretty nice. Now, this one had me a little bit frustrated because I feel really sad for the developer of this specific add-on, uh, but I plan on still using the add-on. Basically, Blizzard has implemented the open all button has been added to the mailbox. Now, for those of us veterans, we've been using Postal probably since I want to say 2008, 2007. Uh, the person's been maintaining this specific add-on. I think it's great that Blizzard's starting to implement these kind of things, uh, but I'm a little frustrated because Postal's a really great add-on, and I feel like it was kind of like an FU to the developer. I plan on using Postal personally still because there's a lot of things that Postal does um, that is still not implemented in game. 
In archaeology, elite dig sites are now represented uh, by a different icon. Now, I actually haven't been able to see this icon. Uh, hopefully, by the time I've recorded this and done a little bit more research, I'll be able to show you the icon over here. But as of this moment, with me recording it, I'm just letting you know about it. I actually haven't seen it in game and have not been able to find it on the internet. Another really, really useful uh, general add-on is going to be achievements linked by other players will finally show your progress on the same tooltip without having to have an external add-on. This is a feature of mine that I, I like. I mean, I have the add-on in live version now so that I could see my own progress towards that specific one, but it's now part of the in-game UI, so that does make it easier for people who don't uh, like to use a lot of add-ons. Now for your appearances, you can now preview an ensemble set by uh, control clicking it, which is pretty nice. Another really great feature is the transmog uh, MPC is now trackable on your minimap. The amount of times where I have been asked or even had to ask myself if I'm not familiar, like in Legion, where was the transmogifier you know, MPC at? Now you can track that on your minimap, which makes it super duper easy. Another really cool thing is when you're in your appearance collection, you can search uh, your appearance collection by dungeon name and boss name, which is pretty cool. Uh, makes it a lot easier when you're trying to find something. There are several add-ons that do this, but once again, Blizzard does take very successful add-ons and adapts them in-game to make it easier for, you know, for people uh, when they have a good idea that they like. So definitely like that that is an improvement there. As far as PvP goes, uh, in arenas, the, your enemies crowd control honor talents are now tracked on their unit frames. So once again, Gladius already does this. There's already add-ons that does this, but now it's happening in, uh, in the actual UI. What I like about that is a lot of high-end PVPers don't use a lot of add-ons, so I think it's great for them uh, to be able to have some of the good parts of being able to see the crowd control honor talents so that you know uh, when trinkets being popped. Various improvements have been made to party member visibility in Battlegrounds. So various improvements have been made. I haven't seen the fruits of those improvements, to be perfectly honest with you, but various improvements have been made, just so you're aware. What I would really love to see, which isn't really going along with this, but I'd really love to see Blizzard adapt a Battleground Targets version into their game. I don't know about you guys, but my Battleground Targets has been broken for a really long time, but I would like to see that kind of inherent in-game because I think it's a feature uh, for Battlegrounds that's super duper um, important. Now for some other ones, they're for Quick Join. You now have a setting where you can auto accept um, to allow friends and guild members to instantly join your queues uh, without a confirmation. So if you're, you know how you're in something and a friend asks you um, if they can queue with you for whatever, whatever you're in, um, this now has the audibility, uh, availability for guild members and friends so they can just instantly join. You don't have to approve it per se, which is pretty nice. I myself probably won't use this feature. There are times when I just want to solo gameplay uh, and I don't really, you know, I might want to just be doing something really quickly, but it's nice that you have that options. Now, group tool tips now show the available roles um, and if auto accept is enabled, which is really nice. And right click a quick join group to whisper a member of that group, which is really nice. So those things are very great for the quick join ability. I've used it a few times myself just randomly in PTR for, you know, doing group things, but I like that they're kind of adding constantly to this feature. Now, this is probably by far my 150% favorite change ever. Ever. I know I told you guys this whole video that I like every change, but that's a lie. This is my absolute favorite. Spells that have not been put on your action bar are highlighted in your spell book. Let me tell you why I love that. I roll alts when I play alts. Sometimes I don't know what needs to be on my bar because I'm brand new to the tune. This helps me because I can see what's highlighted and what needs to be there. Many times I had been playing with friends and playing on an alt and there was something I needed for the group that I didn't have on my bar, especially as a healer, and it's really embarrassing. So this allows you to ha kind of visually be able to see, to have that visual cue, uh, that if it's highlighted, it should be on your bar, assuming it's something that you would use to even need it. Mousing over a spell highlights it on your action bar as well when you're in the spell book. That does definitely make it easier to locate. I personally think this is pretty awesome. So... Um, 
for from an organizational perspective, I think that that's really good. Pet spells also can now be dragged on your player action bar, which is really great for hunters and warlocks too for our demons, um, but hunters specifically because that a lot of what you do with your pet, of course, as your hunters, you know that is inherent in your rotation. This allows it to be part of that rotation. Um, so I think that that's pretty cool that it's allowed to be on the player's bar now. So uh, player's action bar. Definitely really cool that that's a thing. Um, so these are just some of the UI improvements. Uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I wanted you guys to be able to kind of see what was coming so that you weren't shocked and to take advantage of some of the new things that are coming in the UI, especially those of you who do not use a lot of add-ons. Now some of that um, stuff is available in game as of 7.2. Still no date for 7.2 as of now. My money's on the 28th, but don't quote me on it because I don't know anything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are new to Pwncast, make sure you give Pwncast a subscribe. If you have any questions, as always, please feel free to comment on the video uh, and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, but thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.